Welcome back fellow techies, and today's video is something different, it's the Tech Talks, episode 3. And today we're going to be talking about which screen capturing software to use. And the real question is, which everyone keeps asking, which one do we pick? There's so many out there, and so many do all sorts of different things. Well, we're here to have a discussion about them today. Well, we have some free ones, we have some expensive ones, uh, and we have some ones that just do some basic editing and some basic techniques. Some that work on PC, some that work on Mac, some that work on both. I'll be giving my opinion on the views of the softwares. Everyone's opinion is slightly different. So let's get started with today's video. The first bit of software we're going to be talking about is OBS Studio. OBS is Open Broadcast Software. OBS allows you to set up scenes and do insert different sources and record desktop audio, microphone audio, um, music, etc. You can start recording, you can stream, you can go to studio mode, you can do all sorts. It is mainly used by YouTubers or online gamers where they can set up different scenes within their program. It's used on Twitch so you can insert uh, motion bits drop in you can insert all sorts as different sources it's perfect if you want to do a screen recording and involve a webcam it's on Windows Mac and Linux and it's a free bit of software that works with all sorts of different um, games and different bits of software it's really really useful for a really powerful for recording and editing now it doesn't edit, it allows you to export out in so many different video formats. You can then edit it in all the free video softwares or if you want to be a bit more advanced, you can edit in advanced softwares. It's perfect to do um, durations from and it's scenes. very, very can, good to do all that sort of stuff. You can set up all sorts of different previews. So for, for example, um, TV broadcasting, you, they, they could use this sort of bit of software to do high level productions with eight different scene monitors and you can flick between them uh, and it's really really useful really really high end stuff bit of software and it is free i can't stress enough how much how good this software is for being free uh, for all the operating systems and everything it does and it's free there's nothing else out there that's as good as obs studio the next bit of software we're going to be talking about is QuickTime Player. Now everyone feels QuickTime Player is only used to play movies. Now QuickTime Player is really advanced for a free bit of software. It, it can screen record, it can audio record, you can record the screen with audio at the same time. It's brilliant, it works on Windows and Mac, it is free, it's not as advanced as OBS but it allows you to do a screen recording with if you've got a built-in mic microphone or you've got a webcam it allows you to do the recording with a, a built-in microphone basically you can't capture your webcam and screen at the same time you can just capture your screen with audio uh, and it works really really well most of my videos are recorded by a QuickTime player because it's so simple to use. All you got to do is enable the recording, job done. Uh, and if you've got two screens enabled, it works really well. You can just select which screen you want to record. Screen one, you just click on the screen you want to record and job done. It's there, it's recording. It works super well for just doing some basic recording with audio or without audio. And it is free. This, again, it is free for Windows and Mac. So I don't see why you wouldn't want to download OBS and QuickTime Player. You might as well use both of them if, you, if you're struggling. You can do tutorials on OBS whilst recording on QuickTime Player. Or you can do tutorials on QuickTime Player whilst recording on OBS. There's no harm in having both of them. They're free and they're only small files. So they don't take up much room on your computer. The next bit of software we're going to be talking about is Adobe Captivate 2019 release. Now this is quite recent release this one um, as we're in 2020 so it's only about a year ago 
it allows you to have two different options you can buy it for 33.96 a month bit of an odd number but you can buy it per month and pay monthly installments to adobe or you can purchase the free trial which i think is 30 days uh, but it gives you an option to have a trial run with it first adobe captivate allows you to set up all sorts of different recordings it allows you to do a live seminar allows you to do powerpoint allows you to convert powerpoints convert movies edit movies it's a bit of a um a jack of all trades bit of software really it allows you to also as they call it screencast or screen record as we call it in the modern terms we basically you can screen record your data you can record your microphone you can record your webcam and you can record your screen now it's a bit like obs obviously you can see in the this image here your basic functionality you can flick through your slides you can record you can do all sorts of different things um with adobe captivate though you can't it's not free you have to pay for it it's 39 pound 30 basically 34 quid um compared to obs or even quicktime player why would you why would you want to pay adobe to buy a product which you can get for free obs quicktime free why would you want to move on to something you have to pay for when obs is so good in what it does there's no need to go to adobe captivate if you're a complete adobe fan and you really want to use adobe captivate try it do the free trial have a look at it obviously the features of adobe captivate is quite good it does all sorts of things like we mentioned previously all these different options down here you can do ready to go slides you can do copy and paste appearances 360 degree experiences you can powerpoint to mobile learning you can convert powerpoint so all these extra options as you can see i'm scrolling through all these different options uh and they do all sorts the main one i look out for is what we tend to be we're talking about in this video is smart video recording and webcams so you can do the webcam and the screen at the same time so when you're doing a, a seminar or when you're doing a lecture and you want someone to see you brilliant if you want to do a game capture brilliant with your webcam absolutely fantastic a lot of gamers out there want to use webcams with this screen capturing so they can see their response they can see the audience can see what's going on in the perspective of the performer great but it's 34 pound why why would you just why it could do all these extra things yeah brilliant but if you get o obs on a mac you've got imovie for free so you can edit your videos separately you don't need all this extra stuff but if you want it then brilliant you can have it it's perfect for e-learning it's perfect for all sorts of stuff the next bit of software we're going to be talking about is another free bit of software called freecam now freecam has a free version with no watermark um or you can upgrade to the pro version now the free version works on windows only so this is not non-mac compatible windows only you can record your screen as it says down here record your screen you can highlight your mouse moves you can record your voiceovers and you can record your sound system all at the same time brilliant but it doesn't record webcam so if you only want to screen capture and speak over it perfect a bit like tutorials absolutely fine freecam is your software you want to use or quicktime player or again obs entirely up to you freecam is free you sign up with your email address you agree you download it leaves no watermarks needs no or time limits it's entirely up to you you can record as long as you want uh, and it gives you the option to trim your videos so you can edit in freecam too so it's a bit like an editing bit of software as well as a recording bit of software perfect once you've recorded your video you can also upload it straight to youtube so if you really wanted to you can make it straight to youtube now freecam only exports its files in a w mv format it can't do any other formats wmv is windows movie player it will play it in windows movie player you can't play those on mac freecam only works on pc so why would you want to put it in a different format you might as well keep it in that format upload it straight to youtube if you're happy with it you can upload your entry youtube account and sync it with your uh, freecam perfect 
once you've edited in FreeCam as well. So you can do all sorts of stuff within FreeCam. It is free as well on PC. If you want to go pro, you can record your webcam and screen, add annotation, hotkey links, and export as an MP4. Now MP4 obviously is a higher format than WMV. You might as well stay with either, you can use QuickTime Player on PC, remember, or OBS. So you've got three, three bits of software we've already mentioned so far, OBS, QuickTime Player, and FreeCam, which you can screen capture on. Two of them you can't do webcams, one of them you can. Sometimes you don't want to do a webcam, a bit more on acts without a webcam, it's entirely up to you. Have a little play, have a download free cam, have a little look. It is, like I said, entirely free, just got to register your email account and press agree and then download it. Unlimited time, perfect. The final bit of software we're going to be talking about today is Fillmore Screen. Now it's another screen recording bit of software. This allows you to screen record up to two devices. It is, it is Mac and PC compatible. You can do a free download, but I think you only get a certain amount of time with the free download. So you only can record for a certain time as a, a trial run, basically. I'm not, I'm unsure if it leads to watermark, so you have to be prepared if it does. Um, but there's, like I said, there's three other softwares we mentioned previously, OBS, QuickTime, and FreeCam that record without watermarks. But you can try this one. You can also buy it. When you purchase this, you can purchase it for $19.99 for a year or a lifetime for a £10 more. So you might as well buy £10 more for a lifetime support uh, for the for the software. So it's it's basically 30 dollars uh, it can like i said before it can do two devices you can record your screen and a webcam simultaneously you can have a full editing suite at the same time it can also add effects to your video and it does 15 to 120 fps per frames per second really really useful really modern looks quite sleek actually good bit of software but you have to be aware you don't you may not get the same functionality as you do in the other three bits of software we mentioned before. OBS, obviously, way up there. You can do all sorts of different things with OBS compared to this. Now, it lists down here the features. You have a full editing suite, 50 file format import. We can export into three different formats so far. It mentions you may be more. Uh, you can custom record fields, so you can select different parts of your computer you want to record. It's got tutorial features, so you can circle your arrows around things so you can when you are talking about things the audience can see obviously because you can't point at it you're gonna have to use your mouse picture in picture so you can do editing and main footage and face cams and all sorts it's a good bit of software for being free uh, but I'm not sure like I said about the watermark you need to be aware of that and about maybe purchasing it so I'm not sure obviously the time limit on recordings you need to check it all out it's again another bit of free software from Wondershare. We've mentioned Fillmore before on the film editing side. This is the Fillmore screen, so you obviously has the film editing side functions. So basically an add-on to the product. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.